everybody. First up this morning, two things that might be in short supply for you right now during the holiday season. Happiness and a sense of gratitude. We know we're supposed to be it and feel it, but it's not as easy as it looks in commercials and movies. So true. Here to the rescue, the people pro. <laughs> and Barb is an author, professional speaker, registered nurse, clinical psychotherapist. Talk about a to-do list. <laughs> she does couples counseling. She's a mom. She, let's just say she can do it all. Seriously. I mean, that is you do. an amazing I, list. I loved your segment. That is so true. Is you it? know, Yes, it is. I, I don't know if I do it all. Um, these days, I'm not doing much of anything. I don't know if you notice. Maybe we can yeah, get wow. a shot Off of this. Um, well, I had surgery about five weeks ago, and I've been laid up. And it, that's been a very interesting process because, as yeah. you know, Molly, I'm on the go all the time. Yes, you are. So to sit there and be chained down, literally, it's been a real eye-opener. It's like we were talking about. You've had to learn to sit mm -hmm. and be, and I don't think we do that very often. No, no. No. We don't do it often and we don't do it well. Right. That's another thing that's true for women. We're not good at it, even when we have to do it. Even when we have to do it, because what do we do? We sit down and we think, well, I've got to fold the laundry. Maybe I can pay bills here. But truly, I felt so bad for a couple of weeks I did nothing and had people wait on me. Did your husband step it up? He did step it up. Is he, he doing more for the holidays too? Oh, he always does. Oh. I have to give my husband a lot of credit. Okay. You're very uh, awesome. Well, That's prim awesome. primarily because I can't cook. So he's, <laughs> <laughs> so he's taking a bit of that. But I'll tell you what I've really learned out of, out of this is I've always taken my mobility just for granted. Yeah. You know, and all of a sudden I can't walk. Or I went with my niece to Southridge and she had to push me in a wheelchair so uh, to get around and go up and down elevators. Oh my goodness, what an eye opener. Mm -hmm. And I found myself really contemplating just being grateful. You know, grateful for what I have, grateful for my mobility, which is coming back, um, grateful for my family and friends who helped me. And so I started looking at some of the research about gratitude, and it was a real eye-opener. Well, let's talk about that, because obviously this has been a great uh, research opportunity for you, something to be grateful for in all of this that's been so difficult. But what are some of those studies saying? Uh, there's, there's numerous new studies out, and they're real interesting, that actually an attitude of gratefulness benefits you almost more than anybody else. Well, it's like forgiveness, right? Yes. Forgiveness is, is not necessarily something you do for someone else. It's, it's something you do for yourself to set yourself free. Something in your own heart, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, in one of the studies, I, I love this, grateful people report higher levels of positive emotions, life satisfaction, vitality, optimism, and lower levels of depression and stress. Wow. They don't compare themselves to other people. Mm-hmm. They don't get into uh, who's got what. In fact, they don't view materialistic things as being terribly important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They eagerly share their possessions. They share what they have. And, and it's interesting, if you work on building your gratefulness, it switches from just a mood or perhaps a feeling on occasion to sort of a personality trait. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I want to talk about because there are going to be people who are watching today or you, you can imagine having this conversation and they're going to go, yeah, great, I want to be grateful, but I have a chronic illness, right. for example. I don't right. feel well a lot of days when I get out of bed, let's say, or I just lost someone who I love very much, let's say, is their situation, or I lost my job and now I can't buy the people I love gifts, or I could go on and on and on. Right. But you know what I'm saying, and that's Absolutely. true for, for so many people at different stages in their life or I'm single and I want to be married I want right. to have a whatever it is or I'm married and want to be single <laughs> right. uh <-huh. laughs> whatever the situation yeah. so, so what about them though how can you adopt an attitude like this because I think there are a lot of reasons for a lot of people to say hey I don't feel all that grateful right right uh, and the answer is yes what they actually took people with chronic illnesses and neuromuscular disorders and had them start a grateful program and what they did is they did daily journaling of what they were grateful for. And every day they logged if they did something to show gratitude to another person. And what this group of people found is their symptoms were relieved, their mood was elevated, they felt a better connection with other people, and it actually seemed to have kind of a, a, an effect on even pain control. Wow. So very interesting stuff. Wow, mm -hmm. so so much of this is just in our minds. I and mean, we could take Molly's list even that we were talking about and rather than see all of those people we have to buy for, see all of those people we're thankful we have. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's a great a point. Absolutely. 
what what about the people whose list is real small right mm -hmm. you know i mean exactly it's it's flipping the yin and the yang and looking at it differently and you know they say gratitude is really acknowledging and 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 being happy for things in some respects we didn't earn mm -hmm. i right. mean think about it i didn't do anything to get born in this country and i live in the greatest country in the world right mm -hmm. and i'm very very grateful for that opportunity but how often do you think that way mm -hmm. you know we just go about our business and some uh, the too much traffic oh you know well it's interesting you bring that up in particular because at thanksgiving we go around and say what we're grateful for and i think it was my mom who said I i'm grateful to be an american and, and even something as, as, you know, as basic as that, sometimes you can be grateful for. Um, it can be the roof over your head, even if it's Absolutely. not that great, or Absolutely. even if it needs a whole new coat of paint, and it's a lot smaller than you want. I mean, but it's still, it's some of those things you have to kind of see in a new light, maybe. Absolutely. And, and I always try to keep in mind, you know, we live better than about 95% of the people in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we always... See look at it that, that way. Right. Yeah, we don't always see it that way. We, you know, we see somebody with a, a new car, and this time of year, uh, uh, even the advertisements, what, you get a Lexus in your driveway and the advertisements, all this, and then I'm looking out in an old van that's 15 years old. But you know what? I'm really grateful. It still runs. It runs. <laughs> it and I'm runs. grateful that I fill it up with kids, maybe, or yeah. whatever right. it is. Really right. quick, because we ran out of time. How do you get started? So let's say you just have a notebook, okay? And you start every day, and you write down what? Just a couple things, two, three things? Uh, usually, usually what we recommend is people start out, put down five things every day you're grateful for. Different things. Different things. Okay. And then, on a daily basis, try to show gratitude to somebody. And it can be very, very simple, thanking people for things they do for you, holding the door for somebody. I was amazed with my foot how often people would rush ahead of me and go and hold the door for me. What a kind gesture. Mm -hmm. And I appreciated it so much because I'm kind of off balance and you know, I'm trying to pull the door. Um, so it's starting out just with little things, but you have to do some logging. You have to do some writing. I like that. Uh, I like stuff, it too. Barb. Here's the information where you can check out the, the People Pro. Barb is at thepeoplepro.com. You can also get a free download. This is her book. It's called Energy Suckers. And now on December 24th, so Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, Barb's gift to you is a free download of Energy Suckers, which is available on Amazon. Correct. Correct. That's I'd, so like nice. to, I'd like to show gratitude to all the viewers. Many people, by the way, who sent notes to me or notes of encouragement, very, very kind. That's awesome. That, that is thanks, wonderful. Barb. Great to see you. I loved your topic today. Appreciate it. Good way to start out the show, right? Yes, Al? it is.